I think it's important to answer the question of why are we talking about adoption? And one of the main points that we kind of wanted to talk about was that adoption is not a fairy tale. It's often looked at as a very good thing, which it is, but it's also a complicated issue. It's not as simple as a fairy tale of, oh, we adopted you and now everything is going to be perfect. You know, you should be grateful and the children are confused because they know they should be grateful, but there's something going on underneath that's really distressing. Yes. And that's kind of the story before the adoption um, with the separation uh, trauma that happens when a baby is separated from its birth mother, its birth culture, um, and kind of left in this really confusing period of time when they're either in an orphanage or in foster care, separated from their, their primary caregivers um, in this very confusing time before the adoption actually occurs. I'm just gonna keep layering in to help our audience understand, honey, what you're sharing. Okay. And what you want to think about in terms of perception, perception are our filters of the world. It's sound, it's sight, it's smell. And these are the things that get confusing for infants and babies and children. So that adoptive children can come from a different culture and they're not used to the sound of their new mom's voice. They're not used to her smell. They're not, you know, they have trouble settling into her body because they don't have the nine months of preparation where they're in rhythm in utero. And so you've got this sort of already irritated nervous system trying its best. And that's what you want to understand is that there's a, a lower grade sort of irritation or confusion that often is just buried deeper because the infant is trying to attach or the child is trying to attach. I have a quote here from a friend of mine who's also an adoptee and a marriage and family therapist. And she talks about um, coming out of the fog, which was a term that Betty Jean Lifton came up with. Um, and it's this idea that to come out of the fog is to consciously understand the both ands of adoption to recognize the grief and loss that is inherent in separating from one's biology. This grief is often referred to as disenfranchised grief. That is grief that no one is talking about. Um, and I think that that's an important thing to <laughs> talk about too. Yes, uh, the, the, the deep grief and the confusion. And I'll say with my working with uh, some people in their forties who were adopted and the grief is so buried and sometimes it'll take almost six months of treatment to even get to the possibility of grief because the impetus to survive is so strong and and many people are you know do it i'll do it myself thank you <laughs> and so to actually get to the sadness where you didn't have any power and i think that's another big thing to understand is that adoption by nature is kind of a power struggle. Child given away does not have a feeling of empowerment. And how do they reestablish that so that they know that they have power in themselves, in their own being, and that, that this bigger story that they're a part of. 